Hey guys, we are here with a 30 and 30 painting and this is our last one. This is number 30. So we're going to do another little painting on here and again because I've been studying the Jean Haynes book and um, really working at out of that book, we're going to use it as inspiration. And let's get started. So at least to start with, I want my brush, I don't want things too wet. At least not in certain places, other places I want the paint to puddle and run. I'm going to try to sort of control where it goes and what happens, as I always do. <laughs> okay. I'll do my best to get my finger out of the way. All right. Um, we are working on a Rolodex card that has absorbent ground on it so as I've said before it seems that the absorbent ground just really wants the paint to blend and spread no matter kind of what you do I feel like I have less control with this paper with the ground on it than I normally do That was sepia, and the first color was this reddish brown color that I happen to have in my palette. This is kind of a burnt sienna. I don't remember. I think I opened a tube and I poured too much of it out from another palette, so I stuck it in here. lift up some of that purple that's a I forget what color purple it is but it is a Van Gogh paint it might be dioxazine purple I don't remember I'm going to grab some orange Orange is a warm color, and it's a good color for indicating lightness and brightness and warmth. Can you tell yet what we're painting? This is inspired by uh, painting in Jean Haynes' book, At Atmospheric Watercolors. I have three of her books. This is the one I'm currently using. I'm going to toss in some yellow. I feel like it needs it. Okay, we're gonna give that a little bit of a dry. Oops. I'm going 
to mix some red into my purple and make it a little less, I make it less blue, not a little less blue, a lot less blue. Excuse me, I'm going to add some green in. Okay, I need to add in some white and need to add in some Payne's Gray and we need to start calling out our shapes of our owl if you can't haven't guessed yet that's the shape of what we're trying to paint an expressive painting of an owl it's not a literal translation of an owl That was kind of a mistake right there, but I like it, so I'm going to try to save it. I'm going to get some yellowish orange color here, and just mix up some things that are on my palette and add some lemon yellow to it and I'm going to add some splatters. There we go. That was quick and easy and fun. Let's add some white back. That white in the eye just kind of disappeared. Let's add that back and let's add some white back to his face. That's better. Zoom in. There we go. It's cute. All right. Let's write it on the back. Okay. Date stamp it. Make sure my date has the right year. <laughs> So there you go, 30 paintings in 30 days, day 30. I hope you've enjoyed the process and I hope it gives you some inspiration and encouragement to do art every day, even if it's just a small piece of art. Practice and have fun, experiment with your different materials that you have and mediums, and just enjoy the process. Don't forget to go out everybody and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later.